Hey coach, um, so glad you found the video. A couple things. First of all, make sure you subscribe and like. Second thing, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Let me show you how to put a roadmap and become a nationally ranked coach. Um, I've done it for 30 plus years. Let me help you do that over at teachhoops.com. Let's head off to the video. The same. Okay. So this one, all right, you'll kind of see a variation. So essentially what we're doing is we're, we're adding on certain things. All right, so we've done the right here, right, where you either just start right here and you dribble and go, or you start right here, you can cross over and go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna add a couple things. So now we're gonna go across between the leg behind the back. Every time you make a crossover move, the opposite hand that's not touching the ball has to touch the ball. So you'll be here to start it. One, two, three, cross, between the legs behind the back. And you're gonna push it out. You're here, between the legs again. All right, push here, then you're gonna spin. Spin and power fan. Okay. He's gonna do that full speed so I can see it. Gotcha. Since we're gonna go on the outside, we're doing three dribbles, the ball starting inside hand. Take three to start it off. A lot of times, sometimes you get here when you get tired, especially. Chest is facing down, head is facing down, and your legs are straight, so you're not explosive here. Bend at the knees, so that way I'm up, I have vision, I can see stuff, and then when I'm ready to explode, my legs are loaded so I can push off. Okay? So the opposite with Dave starting me in the weight room. So I'm going to answer the question about the weight room. Weight room is different as far as um, yeah. here you're just trying to get you're trying to get low to attack a seam. In the weight room, we're worried about your lower back. Yeah. <laughs> Those muscles in your lower back. Head up. So what do you call that? No, nothing. No, I don't so, have a name for it. So he, do, he has done cone like this before. Yeah. So when he's watching this, yeah. okay. So this is this a level two? Okay, so this is like level two cone, okay. Yep. So this is a level up. So again, there'll be three layers to it. The first one will just be the spin and finish. Second one, I'm going to spin and sidestep into a pull up. Okay, the third one, pull spin, sidestep. And then put it right back down into that same twist, same hand attack. Okay. Right. One, two, one of each of the other. So we'll side step, pull up, and then side step, re with the stretch finish. Three, 
One for the palm and spin, one to put it back down with the right hand, and then one to snap it back with your left. Eyes up to start. You know where that comes in. You're not going anywhere. Right in front of you. Boom, bang, bang, bang. Boom, boom. Got to take one more dribble there. All right, so you're here. Drag, drag, drag. One, two, three, up. You got it. Here, spin it out. Now the defense on the inside hands. We're not going to dribble with our right. We're going to pop step up. Into that shot. That was the second of the three? That was the second of the three. Now, pop it, put it down, same foot, same hand, straight to the chain. Good. Now, ready? Good. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Yes, right there. Perfect. Love that move because off that spin, if they stay under you, right, and you pop back, right, and you've shot that ball before, and you've proven that you can shoot that shot, what are they gonna do? Jump it. Either jump or at least stand up and put a hand up, right, and you hit that shot. So when they go from here to here, what now happens? They're open, right, and they're not athletic because their legs aren't loaded. So if you take one quick dribble and get that ball up quick, that's gonna happen before they can realize what happened, take their hand down, reload, and set up for that jump, okay? So if you can get that off quick enough, there's no way they can block that shot unless they're seven feet tall. The last time I checked, there's no seven footers in the big A as of right now. Yeah. I don't know if you're bringing anybody in. Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Actually, if you did, subscribe and like, and then go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.